Death of the Trees is a poignant short story by Ruskin Bond, an acclaimed Indian author known for his deep connection with nature and his ability to evoke the essence of rural and small town life in India. The story reflects Bond's sensitivity to environmental degradation and the emotional and cultural loss that accompanies the destruction of nature. Set in a small village, the narrative revolves around the felling of a grove of ancient trees and the impact it has on the community and the narrator. The story is set in a serene village, characterized by its lush greenery and the presence of ancient trees that have stood for generations. These trees are not just a part of the landscape but are integral to the villagers' lives, providing shade, shelter, and a sense of continuity with the past. The setting serves as a backdrop to highlight the stark contrast between the thriving natural environment and the impending loss that the trees in Bond's story symbolize stability, heritage, and the deep-rooted connection between humans and nature. They represent the continuity of life and tradition, standing as silent witnesses to the passage of time and the lives of the villagers. The destruction of these trees signifies a rupture in this continuity highlighting the vulnerability of natural beauty to human actions. The narrative tension begins with the announcement that the trees are to be felled to make way for new development. This decision is met with a mixture of disbelief, sadness, and resignation by the villagers. The felling is seen as an unavoidable consequence of modernization, reflecting the broader theme of the clash between development and environmental preservation. Bond captures the emotional turmoil experienced by the villagers as they grapple with the impending loss of the trees. The older generation, in particular, feels a deep sense of grief and helplessness, as the trees have been a constant presence throughout their lives. This emotional impact underscores the personal and collective loss that accompanies environmental degradation. The narrator, who shares a profound bond with the trees, expresses his sorrow and anger at their destruction. Through the narrator's perspective, Bond articulates a powerful critique of the reckless disregard for nature in the name of progress. The narrator's reflections serve as a voice for environmental consciousness, emphasizing the need to value and protect natural heritage. The actual felling of the trees is described with vivid imagery, capturing the brutality and finality of the act. Bond's descriptive language brings to life the sounds and sights of the trees being cut down, evoking a sense of violence and loss. This moment is pivotal in the story, as it marks the irreversible change in the landscape and the lives of the villagers. In the aftermath of the felling, the village landscape is transformed, and the absence of the trees is keenly felt. The narrator reflects on the consequences of this loss not just in terms of the physical environment but also the cultural and emotional void it creates. The reflection is a meditation on the long-term impact of environmental destruction and the importance of preserving natural beauty. Death of the Trees explores several themes, including the conflict between development and conservation, the cultural significance of nature, and the emotional impact of environmental loss. Bond uses motifs of nature, memory, and change to weave a narrative that is both a lament for what is lost and a call to recognize the value of the natural world. Ruskin Bond's Death of the Trees is a powerful narrative that underscores the need for environmental stewardship and the deep connections between people and nature. Through his evocative storytelling, Bond encourages readers to reflect on the consequences of our actions on the natural world and to consider the irreplaceable value of the environment. The story serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of preserving the beauty and heritage of nature for future generations.